I'm about to talk about Tom McDonald, man. Seems like he got something to say about the Russell Brand situation. Oh, yeah, it's about to get crazy. It's about to, it's about to get crazy. Let's hear what he has to say, man. And then I'm going to say my opinion on it. Shout out to Tom McDonald, man. Let's check him out. You know, he's going to keep it real. And if you don't know what's going on, with Russell Brand, he's getting canceled. People are like violating him, a whole bunch of things are being said. He got demonetized before we can find out if the allegations were even true or not. And that's the world we live in. The allegation is enough proof for you to destroy someone's livelihood. So follow me on Rumble. This is facts. I'm about to start streaming every day on Rumble too as well. All right, let's get into it. ...about the Russell Brandt situation. I don't know if Russell Brandt did the horrible things people are accusing him of. Nobody knows. All I know is people are rightfully concerned that his YouTube has been demonetized on the basis of uh, accusations, and they think YouTube might be trying to financially cripple him. Here's the only thing I know about the situation. I know Russell Brandt is worth like $80 million. They're not demonetizing him to affect him financially. That's impossible. They're demonetizing right. him because he's famous, and everybody has their eyes on him right now. This is... Facts. Facts, facts. It's because people were paying attention, right? He's a big name and they want to make sure they set this example, right? It's a private company. Can't really argue too much. We can say how we think it's found, but YouTube can do whatever it wants. It's their company, right? The way that the YouTube ad friendly thing works is like, if they see that your YouTube channel is, doesn't fit what they think brings money, Oh, they're like, hey, I don't think advertisers are going to like this. They can just demonetize you just based off of that. Right. It's up to them. That's why I edit a lot and I try to make sure I'm ad friendly. Right. And then I do other types of conversations and live streams on different platforms. Right. Follow me on, on Twitch, Rumble, my Patreon, stuff like that. But I try my best to stay within the guidelines. Right. But even if you do stay within the guidelines at any moment in time, if they see fit, they can take it away from you. This is a big tech public display of power disguised as disciplinary action. This is the perfect moment for big tech to demonstrate to the entire world how immensely powerful they are. This is big tech saying, hey, look what we did to Russell Brandt. He's a star. If we can do it to him, yep. we can do it to you too. All of you. Facts. You know all this stuff you've been hearing about? Facts. If you don't think, especially me with my little channel, right? you, know, you don't think that they could come for me. They already did. They already did. Think about that. BX Beast Boy was demonetized for four, I think maybe three or four months on multiple channels. Just was what it was, bro. Make sure you guys are subscribing to this channel. I'm telling you, support me while you can. I had to change things up. People was making fun of me when I deleted all my videos and started from scratch. I had to like really start from scratch, bro. But it's part of the game. About social credit systems in China. If you behave poorly, you get certain rights and privileges taken away. At least China's social credit system uses actual evidence to prove that you did something wrong before you suffer the consequences. Apparently here, all you have to do to suffer the consequences is be accused of doing something wrong. And whether Russell Ooh. Brandt did something wrong or not, that should scare the hell out of you. Also, I don't just talk shit. I'm a rapper. And I got a brand new album called The Brave 2 out now. Go download on out. iTunes or Amazon. I want to check out his album, man. It's dope as hell. Dope as hell. We reacted to it recently, man. It was fire. Super dope. But yeah, I agree 100%. I think that it's, it's crazy. YouTube can do whatever they want with their platform, but that's the risk that you run now of just being on someone else's stuff. That's why you got to diversify your stuff from day one. Follow me on Rumble. Follow me on Twitch. Follow me on everything. Because right? you never know, bro. You never know. It's really up to them. And that's how what it is. It's their business. It's pretty crazy. I do think it's wrong. Without any kind of proof, you could just demonetize them. That's that's great. We got to at least get let the court case happen, right? This is straight nasty. But let me know what you think down in the comment section.